Are you looking to buy vacant land and build your next home? Here's how to do it and how to avoid the common snags that can derail your building project here in Olympia, Washington in the greater Thurston County area. Hi, I'm Francine Viola, Realtor in Olympia, Washington. I have a lot of buyers who will contact me wanting to buy land so they can build their custom home. Forgive me if my enthusiasm is lacking when I get this call because in 2018, my husband and I purchased raw land and built our home and I think I have PTSD from my own experience. There's a lot to talk about, but here's an overview of the financing and the cash reserves that buyers will need, how to research vacant land to find out if it's buildable, and the most common environmental hazards that many parcels here in Thurston County have that can delay or derail your building project. Money is a big issue and there's a lot to talk about here. First, let's talk about if you're not paying cash for the land, how would you finance it? If you're going through a bank, you would apply for a construction loan. A construction loan is a temporary loan with the intention you will complete the building process in a certain amount of time, typically in 12 months. It is not a regular loan. You cannot do a zero down VA loan on vacant land, for example. Understand that there is no collateral with vacant land, it's just dirt, and these loans are risky for lenders. Because of this, expect to put down 20 to 30%, pay a higher interest rate, and with your loan application, you'll also need to submit your plans, builder contact, budget and cost sheet, so you need to have these things ready to go too. Once the home is completed, then you'll convert this construction loan into a permanent loan. Although you may be getting a loan, many costs are not included in the financing. And that can depend upon what your building is including in the cost sheet, what your lender requires, and a long list of other items that will come up in your build. These out-of-pocket expenses can include utilities, like getting water, septic, electricity, gas, propane, cable to the home, doing your feasibility studies, and this can be geotech engineering, prairie land studies, septic perk tests, costs for surveys, mitigation and impact fees for schools, parks, transportation, your loan costs, construction overruns, and items not included by your builder like a driveway or landscaping or fencing. If the home doesn't appraise, then you'll be required to cover the difference. These things can add up quickly and they can easily get to a six figure cost. If buyers do not have substantial cash reserves, building may not be the best option. Another cost buyers forget, they still will have to cover their current mortgage or rent payments along with making their construction loan payments. You'll need to have the income to cover both of those payments. So let me give you some good news. <laughs> The good news is Thurston County has excellent online resources for researching properties to determine if they're buildable. Geodata.org has map overlays that show if there are wetlands, prairie soils, slopes, and other critical areas. This is just a start because interpreting this information and figuring out what is needed will need to come from a planner at the county, or if you are in the city limits, the city planner but this is a good start. I did a quick overview of how to use geodata.org and the link is below. Thurston County has unique land features that can restrict what you can do. Commonly, you may find there are wetlands on the property, slopes, or prairie lands where the endangered Mazama pocket gopher may live. In Thurston County, you will hear a lot about the pocket gopher and there's more details in the link below. Many of these critical areas you may find on the property will require setbacks to protect them. For example, if there's a fish bearing creek on the property, the house would have to be 200 feet away from the creek. Now, this is only an example and the actual distance from the creek needs to be determined by the county inspector. These setbacks or buffer zones can limit where you can place the home and the building footprint. You'll also want to research what is the zoning for the property? Is this in a neighborhood where there are CCNRs? These are the neighborhood rules and restrictions that will outline what you can build. Is the parcel in the city limits or in unincorporated Thurston County? Are there easements? Is there access to the property from a public road or would you need to get an easement? When you are under contract to buy land, you will have time to do your feasibility study. 
This can be a few weeks or it may take a few months. For your feasibility study, here are the most common professional consultants you'll need. City and or county planners and inspectors, prairie plant or pocket gopher inspectors, geotechnical engineers for slopes and evaluating landslide hazards, a surveyor, a septic designer, well driller, and you'll also need, of course, your realtor, a lender, builder, architect, and an attorney. This is just an overview, but there are a lot of steps involved in buying land. Check out my full blog post for all the details. And of course, call me with questions and I can get you in the right direction. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.